In this video, I'm going to show at-home spinal decompression stretches that can give relief for bulging discs and pinched nerves in the neck. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe here at Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. When it comes to cervical discs, those shock absorbers in the neck, it's all about pressure. The discs are built to withstand a lot of compression or up and down forces throughout the day. However, just like a shock absorber on a car, it can be overwhelmed through hard impacts, think a hard fall or an accident and a sports injury, and over time gradually start to break down through repetitive wear and tear. Once the discs become damaged, they tend to bulge or herniate since they cannot contain normal compressive forces. The result of this is an outpouching disc or herniation that will make contact with a nearby spinal nerve. This is the classic cause of a pinched nerve. So to unpinch the nerve, we need to reduce the pressure in the disc or simply decompress the disc. And we're going to do that through pulling or traction-based stretches. Why is traction the route to go to for a pinched nerve in the neck? You can imagine if there's a lot of downward force being put on the disc causing compression, it's going to pancake the disc and bulge it out. If we do the opposite by pulling on it, it's going to relieve the pressure within the disc and cause bulging material to come back in, taking the bulge off the nerve. You take the bulge off the nerve, it will start to heal and you'll feel a lot less pain. The main thing that we're going to look for while doing these stretches is less frequent and intense symptoms but more importantly, what we call centralization. Centralization is a fancy way of saying when you put pressure on a nerve, it will cause it to travel, such as a sharp shooting pain into the shoulder or arms. When you take the pressure off the nerve, the pain starts to move back up to the starting point, which would be in the neck. So this is important to remember, nerve pain heals by slowly moving back towards the starting point. After doing these stretches, if you're feeling less pain and the pain isn't traveling as far, then they are working for you. So let's get started with them and get feeling better right now. So the first decompression stretch that we're going to do is very straightforward. You're going to take your thumbs right here and place them at the back of the head or the base of the skull. If you feel off to the side, you should feel two large bumps off to the side of your head. That's the spot where you're going to want to put the thumbs at. So I'm going to find those two spots right there, take my thumbs, place them at the base of the skull right here, and then lock my knuckles. The next part is going to be the traction. We're going to lift up on those two spots. So just like this. And then I'm going to lift up until I feel a very good stretch right in the neck. You can also tilt the chin towards the chest to get a little bit of a better angle on it while you lift up and create that traction. The goal is to hold it for about a half minute, 30 seconds. Relax and then repeat it three to five times. And you can do this stretch as needed throughout the day as long as you're finding relief with it. So another way to be able to do this stretch is just using a normal hand towel. And I like to fold it up just like that. You're going to place this again at the base of the skull right at those two spots where you feel those bumps. You're going to grab the ends of the towel with your hands right here and then start to lift up to get that traction. Again with this one I like to hold it for about 30 seconds, relax, and then do it upwards to three to five times. A lot of times with disc bulges in the neck you're going to get a one-sided arm pain. That's generally from the spot where that bulge is going off towards. So what you can do with this stretch is modify it to the point where you're going to get a lot of relief from a bulging disc that's causing it to go down into the arm or hands. So to do that, pull up on it and then on one side just pull a little bit more, almost kind of like a side tilt with your head. And you can do this right here to the point where it starts to help relieve that bulge and gives that pain relief. Give it a try, see if it works for you. If your pain is still lingering or getting worse, more sophisticated traction is going to be needed to get relief. Look into spinal decompression therapy, which is one of the best conservative options available that can help treat herniated discs and pinched nerves. I use spinal decompression therapy in my office and have gotten great results with it and have helped a lot of people get long lasting relief without the use of drugs, injections, and surgery. So I hope these stretches helped you out and you're already getting some relief. If they did, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. We appreciate it and thanks for watching.